You know, I gotta say, the Rotary community never ceases to amaze me. I come back from that whole camping trip with the family, setting up the truck for towing and stuff, and I'm met with beautiful packages. Not just one, by the way, this, this is one that's very special, so I'm going to show you guys this, but multiple packages from many of you. And I, when did I get so lucky? <laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay, so this is from Australia. We've got some badass whale shark Australian dollar uh, postage stamps. And... This was from Don Smith. Um, it's something that he wanted me to test, and we don't have a true ETA on when to do this. Um, it's very likely, I'll, I'll get into details, but it's very likely going to be something the middle of the year when I can finally get to this. But let me show you guys what I got. And kind of unexpected to get such a cool package, but it is <laughs> spectacular. So, Don, thank you very much. I did just open this. I did actually shoot this video before. So, I'm laughing because I cut my head off the whole video. This was pretty damn good, but I figured you might want to see my goofy ass head. So, with all this bubble wrap, we are about to see what I think is a lot of ingenuity. This is a semi PP controlled about one inch adapter to run between the lower intake manifold and the 13B block itself. And so you've got a slide throttle on the semi PP. This looks black to guys on camera, but if this actuator were able to move, which is not powered to a battery right now, do so, this will go in roughly an inch. This will move across roughly an inch, opening up these holes for the semi PP. And then having a full control of the MEPP directly at the uh, flange of the engine. So you guys have seen my stuff that's been around for six or seven years at this point, doing the upper intake manifold mod to shut off the secondaries and the MEPP to force all the air into the primaries only. Now that pumps up velocity and it's so good uh, I'm not sure if you guys are looking the side of an intake manifold but the chambers that are designed to create a essentially a harmonic resonance of airflow um, to bounce back air and improve velocity of an engine so when those are shut off you're gonna see Boost come in earlier, more torque, and for the most part, better drivability because now you can have a huge port on the secondaries or a huge semi PP and you could shut it off, right? Because now it's just running on primaries only. So this takes it one step further. This is saying you've got these two shut off at the top of the engine, and then now you can open up the intake manifold, and you can still leave these closed, and then you can stage these open. So now you've got a three-stage intake, which if you guys know BMWs, that's exactly what they did. So, well, not exactly. They did three-stage intake manifolds, and it did improve power everywhere because now you've got an efficiency, and another efficiency, and another efficiency on the overlap. It's where you're gaining a broader torque curve. So, Don did a beautiful setup on this thing. We've got some clearance and cutaway. Uh, this, oh shoot, I forget this material, but this is what looks like laser jet cut initially and then hand finished. And uh, came with gaskets. We'll put a heat shrink and Deutsch connector on this guy. And the slide throttles here. You guys can kind of see there's a little bit of movement, right? So the goal would be is for this to be fully shut, right? 
we need to make sure that this has a walkout position so where this actually pulls this completely sealed and shut. So I'm assuming when this turns on, this will move, but we have a slop in here. It's probably in the realm of eighth of an inch and we're gonna aim for the elimination of that. Maybe this little bleed doesn't matter, but maybe it does. So we'll test that. But this is such a cool adaptation to what I think is already an impressively cool project and an impressively cool car um, to really get the best of all worlds. You're now getting another stage of the intake, which will not make more peak power. Let's be perfectly honest. This will only lose power, but it's the in-between power that is going to change. This is the drivability aspect or having the control to give a broader torque curve. So really excited to check this out. I think it's brilliant. I think that something like this is just wonderful. <laughs> uh, and I'm, inc I'm incredibly fortunate to have you guys send me stuff like this or you know reach out and say hey I've got this project I need help with calculating a turbo or figuring out intake manifold design or going through whatever it is with tuning that I keep having an issue with and I know it's been a hard winter I know it's been a tough economy for a lot of you guys and it's such a I'm seeing a very bright future ahead really um, we just announced one of the top five Holotech dealers in the US so that's pretty cool um, I tune everything you guys know that by now so I tune Motec, Mtron, ECU Master um, Link, Adaptronic, Holotech, AEM the whole shebang, right? I'm going for it. And now, the reason why I took so long to open this thing is I'm finally doing one of my next passions is diesel tuning, uh, which I think is so cool and so complex in so many different ways, but also simple. It's kind of a cool double-edged sword. And so I get to do that, and then I'm also jumping in with modern BMW stuff and Audis and cool like off-the-shelf tunes that you guys can have and have a reliable secondary car. Um, it's just been a good beginning of a year to reconnect with a lot of you, um, to kind of plan ahead and to spend more time in educating myself and I think that's such an important thing. If you don't have an open mind to learn, you're always going to be shooting yourself in the foot. And I, for one, I always try to improve. Tomorrow, what am I going to learn? I don't know. Let's go grab a book, figure something else out, go from there. And I'm not the most liked person. I understand that. But I am trying. And I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to do the best I can to do to relay all my information in a very clear and concise manner. Um, I'm doing my best to take all the emotions out of things. So when it comes to presenting data, you'll see most likely all of that on Instagram. Um, the Facebook page has a lot of stuff. And then the stuff that I will post in larger rotary groups or whatever it is, that's usually pretty good. But for the most part, taking the emotions out of things, enjoying the process of learning new stuff, playing with some cool stuff along the way, and uh, inc just incredibly fortunate to have all of you around me. And uh, I think we're going to have a really good few years. I think we've got a, a bullish start, the stock market taking off. So I have everything invested, which I hope you all do, um, that if possible might be the best move for you. Uh, it looks like the stock market is 
at a very medium point. It's about to take off, so you should be excited about that, as I am. Um, and for the most part, you know, every day is a classroom. So keep learning, keep being hungry for information. And if you guys want me to cover anything specifically, just reach out. I'm the easiest person to get a hold of with email, text message, messenger. If you're a client and I've tuned your car, please keep in contact. If you need anything, the whole point of my stuff is lifetime support. Um, so if the car is having an issue, understand the tune is not changed. There's no long-term trims. There's no BS to change what should have happened. That's indicating to you that you have a fuel filtration issue, spark plug issue, something basic and something mechanical. So just take the time, reach out. It's all covered. It's all warrantied. So I will take care of you. That's the whole point. Anyways, that's it for now. I'm going to get to work on cleaning this up a little bit, going through some um, local friends that have maybe super flow test bench and some cool stuff. And then I have a buddy out in Arizona who has really, really good um, Honda porting experience, and he will probably love to get his hands on this to give me specifics of exactly what I'm asking for for this and then what we'll end up doing is we're going to taper some of these edges to get a venturi effect right because if we've got a sharp edge and the airflow is trying to get into it it might be a little better with the softer entry just all depends on what matches the motor right and uh looking forward to this one so cheers i'll catch you guys in the next one and uh hope you guys had a good day Take care.